Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what's good everybody? Quick shit vid. So a quick change of plan. Let's bring this over a little bit. Quick change of plan. I was going to do a video today, which I am going to do, uh, of like the, our next games, next 12, 13 games, whatever's left. Work out what I want. Not what I want, I want to say it, but what I reckon we can get from them games. But somebody commented uh, yesterday saying to do one from the head and from the heart, so I'll do both, I think that's a good idea. So shout out to... I forgot who commented that, so apologies, but yeah. Um, so today, but I just thought, because Jack Harrison's coming into loads of stick and it's all online about him. And a few people have commented and stuff. And I'm, I'd cut, I'd, I thought I'm not going to go over the stats and stuff. I'm just going to, because we've all, we've, they've all been shit, haven't they, this year? So I just thought I'd sort of come to his defence in a, in a sense. I'm always going to defend the Leeds players anyway. And like, what he's been there a long time now, and he's, you know, he has been linked to some big moves and stuff like Newcastle move and stuff. And that were an article today saying that 49 has missed a trick not getting rid of him. Now my my thing is, I think I love Leeds fans more than anything. Well, not more than anything. I don't love more than my family and stuff, but all myself. But we're either like the best fan base in the world or the worst fan base in the world. My, my thing is, like, we've been shit. It can't be Jack Harrison's fault. So, I mean, he hasn't even been playing. He's only just come back into the side. So I agree he's had an off-season. But he's also been pretty good for us over the grand scheme of things. It's like Rodrigo. Now everybody's begging, like, saying we'd need Rodrigo back. What are we going to do without Rodrigo? Uh, well, do you not remember when he was the fall guy? And then people say, well, Bales were playing him out of position. Marsh were forced to put him up top because we had absolutely no other options. So, and I think Harrison spent quite a long time getting his form kicked out of his ass by playing so, so narrow. Now, for me, Aronson has been shit this season. And we know nothing more about him other than that. He had a good start. He looks like there's plenty going on, but there's not nothing happens. But... Fine, so he gets dropped, comes back into the side, does nothing. Harrison is better. If you're going to play Harrison central, it's I end up having this argument all the time in pub. There's a difference between playing central and playing narrow. So if you put him central, he's quite good in behind Bamford or Rodrigo or, or, or whoever. Sent, actually central, but when he's narrow wide, he's not, he's, he cannot operate there. Because he's quite sharp on ball and stuff and he wants to drive with ball and he's got a good strike on him, got a good shot on him. And I know his crossing was horrific the other day, but he does have a nice left foot, there's no doubt about it. He's got a lovely touch. But he's either to the byline and whip it in or bang in the middle of the goal looking to like try to create. That inside pocket where, and then when they did that thing with Nonto where they were both there, they just absolutely smothered each other. So I don't mind players coming in for a bad time. Because I think it's the nature of the beast, but I'm just I'm not I'm not into the one fall guy. We are not losing all these games because of Jack Harrison. We've been dog shit. Rockers bog standard. Uh, Christensen was shite, and then Ailing's Ailing's come in and been better. Ailing's just been Ailing like we know what we're getting from Ailing. Uh, I just you know Cooper's not been inside, so Cooper now the Cooper would normally just he's the fall guy. He'd be the guy that gets it. The, the only consistent players we've had, really, this season, to, to what you, you deem consistent, has been Meslier, Silent S and probably Adams. Cox's been decent, I would say. We, Nonto's been really good, but they're not, not consistently good, which it's hard to be consistently good in a poor side like we have been. But, you know, so we've been linked with uh, like this Che Adams from Southampton, uh, striker, he's got four goals this season. So and every but that's the type of player everybody would jump on saying no, we need we need this striker. I did a video on Bamford a couple of years ago when I think when we first came up when he were banging goals in and we went on a bit of a bad patch and the video was called Time to Blame Bamford, and it's because now it's like right revert back to type and have a go at. You know, the, the sort of easiest players to have a go at. The, these strikers, I'm so sick of saying this, but it's so true. These strikers don't exist. Everybody in the bottom 10 teams all are looking for this striker. They're not about, the, you know, there's so many big teams. In, 
Where's Antonio gone for West Ham? I know he's had a couple of injuries and stuff. Danny Ings has been moved on and about, and he's meant to be a goal machine. Where where are they? You know, they're, they're not turning up this year either. It's extremely, extremely difficult. But we've been we've been terrible all season, so that's my overall analysis of Harrison's performances. It's not football's a really fickle thing, isn't it? But it's certainly not Jack Harrison not being able to deliver a ball is why we're getting bombed every week. It's just not. So and I'm not even particularly defending Jack Harrison's um performances because I think sometimes it's indefensible I get sometimes get a bit of shit as well like to suggest that I don't see um you know like I don't get frustrated it's, I find it unbelievably frustrating I just don't think it's beneficial to anybody including yourself ultimately I watch football and Leeds United for fun for enjoyment so as much as they do frustrate me and I will say to my mates when we're watching the game I'll say yeah that's shite but it's just individual moments that shite. The actual quality of the player is undeniable, really. They're playing at a, an extremely elite level. It's these these tiny things count. And when when players like Cox been um, linked to Newcastle and stuff, well, Newcastle could not be on more of an upswing if they tried. You know, they've got been pummeled with money. They're going to be pumping money into it. If they're looking at allegedly looking at players like Cock, then there's something in these players that it's the side that they're playing in that's the problem, isn't it? So there's not enough. You know, we're not. Oh, it's so it's such a, it's such a difficult league, and it's so difficult to try and assess individual players when, like, 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 say with this Che Adams from Southampton, everybody's saying, "Oh, the, we, we we should snap him up," and if Southampton go down, you snap him up. Well, he can't. He couldn't do it at Southampton, and we're in a similar position to Southampton. So why would he come into our side and do it? I'm not saying he wouldn't. You just, you just don't. You don't know with players. Timing's a massive thing. In reality, if Rodrigo, if we was on the upscale, we'd have moved Rodrigo on by now, where he won't be getting inside, and we won't certainly won't be begging for him to come back into the side when everybody fell out with him for the past two years. Bamford the same, he had a great year whether anybody likes to say it or not. Sadly, I think Bamford is done, really. I don't think he can keep getting injured, and I, it pains me to say that because I love Bamford, but just just injury-wise, he can't. it's taken him too long to get back, and then when he does get back, he's getting another niggle. It's so bad for him. It's so bad. But... Yeah, that's my just that my my ramblings of a madman really. I'm not, and I know I'm, and like people saying get Jack Harrison off corners. He can't. His corners have been terrible. But the alternative is Aronson, and Aronson's been delivering the ball, and that is bad. I say it all the time as well. We you know we people conceding from corners and like Vobber Wobber whatever he's called, wasn't strong enough at that corner. Well, he's the best in the air of everybody else so if he's shit th this is this is it this is kind of the point so if if Harrison's shit and if he's shit at corners who can take the corners because nobody turns up and takes the corner better because if somebody can are you telling me if Harrison can't deliver a ball from a corner there's nobody else in that side that can deliver the ball from a corner and if there is why aren't they taking it you can't tell me that they won't just go Kinell, you're absolutely ace at taking corners. Why don't you take them? I'm sure Harrison had all his hand up. They don't all take the free, they don't take it in turns to take free kicks on the edge of the box, do they? they? There's a few of them have a bash at it because in training there'll be a few of them that are decent at them, and the rest of them will be shit at them. Who was that keeper? That absolute beast. I can't remember his name. Paraguayan. He used to come up for and take all free kicks and that. Now that, I don't know whether that backs my point or not, but you know, if you're bringing keeper forward to take it, he's obviously significantly better than everybody else. Somebody put somebody commented the other day as well to get Mez up for every corner because he's huge, which as dangerous as that would be, it'd also be probably more entertaining than getting spanked every week. So yeah, that's my quick shit vid. I am going to do a video tomorrow about my, my thoughts on relegation, how many points I think we'll get and how many points I think we should get and how many points I think we'll need to stay up but I am still positive we will stay up and I think Gracia is a good bloke so yeah what, what are your thoughts on Jack Harrison 
overall, not just like as a side, like try and be objective about other players as well. It's not just Jack Harrison. So Cooper's gone, so we can't blame Cooper. Fucking now, you, it's it's Harrison's fault. It's like it don't, it cannot be like that. It cannot work like that. So yeah, what you're saying? The way they've been, the results they've had, one defeat in 13. I've got Muppets from Leeds talking about pressures on us and Bamford and Forshaw and uh, a couple of others and it's over to you and this, that and the other. They got beat seven times since Christmas. We've been beaten, beaten once. We've set it up from Christmas to be in the right. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Surprises why I asked no